What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. Speaking of back, uh, you know, your childhood growing up and shit, I had seen an interview with you and Zach, and you know, you said your people ain't really want you outside kicking in the streets. So, like, what age did that change when you kind of was doing your own thing? I mean, I'll say around the time, sixth, seventh grade, you feel me? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, I was just doing what I wanted to do as far as, like, out there blatantly disrespecting my mama or family by being in the streets. But my mama and daddy had split, and it was easier for me to just do what I want to do. My mama didn't really give a fuck no more. Like, so I was just being outside, being bad to her. She wasn't really seeing nothing, you feel me? Cause I'll just go to school, you feel me? Be outside, come home, you feel me? Act like I wasn't doing shit, you feel me? So then by the time I got to high school, you feel me? That's when I really just got on some shit. I don't give a fuck type shit, you feel me? Cause you know, it's you in that age, man. 14, 15, 16, you know, motherfucker yeah. can't really tell you shit on how to live your life, you know? You feel like you're on top of the world at that point. And, you finna just do what you wanna do. Yeah. So you know, with your uh you know, your people trying to talk you against that shit. Like once they seen you was really you know, trying to get in the shit, was it some advice they gave you that stuck to you? Shit. Really once I once I start doing that shit, my brother would just be on you feel me, if you gonna be gang banging then I just you'll be with me type shit and he I just be learning as I go with him and he'd be telling me, you know, not to be trusting motherfuckers. That's really the main thing. Like, you can't just be trusting motherfuckers, putting your trust in the next motherfucker, cause just like that, your life will be over. And you feel me? You thought you trusted a motherfucker. Uh, I see that a lot. Like, a lot of people, be, they be clicked up, shit like that. Next thing you know, they in two are trying to kill each other. And these are the same people that just said they love each other. So it's like, that shit don't be real. Like, yeah. Like, and then it'd be fucked up when situations like that, cause it's like these be the people that know the most about you, know all your spots, know everything. So it's like, yeah, that, that's some real shit. Uh, you know who your top five artists that you listen to on the daily? Man, I get it. I get, I get a top two. I don't really throw too many other people in a rotation besides her but Meek Mill. Especially uh -huh. nobody but Meek Mill really right now. We just dropped the album. Oh, that shit crazy. You know. It's hard for me to even listen to another motherfucker right now. He just he got the other motherfucker you want to hear besides him on the album <laughs> anyway. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's really all I've been listening to. So you know, was do you have any uh, big influences on your music? Yeah, Meek, of course, Pappy. You feel me? That's I don't even need to be spoke upon no more at this point. Meek, heard you feel me? It's a lot of motherfuckers that influence me. Every motherfucker who music I listen to influence me if I like it, you feel me? Cause it's nice to me, you feel me? And it's artistic at the end of the day. So, you know, it's gonna rub off on you whether you realize it or not. But yeah, um, I like my shorty Elgato. He, he an influence of me cause he be swaggy on every track, cowboy. You feel me? It's, it's a lot of motherfuckers. You know, can we expect any music with you and Elgato or uh, Cowboy and they don't come soon? Yeah, I got tracks with Cowboy. I need to do some more. Tracks with Gato. I need to do some more. Post man, his ass supposed to pull up. If you see this, man, your ass supposed to put up two months ago. You <laughs> feel me? But yeah, man. I got some shit coming soon. My shorty Lil Twine, all of you guys, man. I'm, we got to feel the turn up. Oh, uh, yeah. Me and Bruno supposed to be working too. A lot of people been asking me to ask you this because, you know, it's a couple people that's buzzing in the city up north and shit like that. And, you know, Polo G, one of them. And I had seen, like, he kind of, like, this Pappy Gang saying something like, uh, they, they fuck with the Oslo Wayne two of them, too. Like, do y'all personally know him or people from their end? Or is it just I mean, some affiliation shit? I, I personally don't know him. And personally, nobody I know from around his area or anywhere period, know him either, you feel me? Yeah. So, that's my take on that. I don't know him, nobody I know know him. Uh, that shit crazy, it's like, I don't know, a lot of people, I feel like they don't really have no real reason to be into it besides who the, who you fuck with type shit. Yeah, motherfuckers just be worried about the wrong shit, you know, trying to get themselves involved with a the motherfucker thinking it's a game type shit, you feel me, but. Yeah. 
you know, that just shook how I go. I know in the last interview we had talked about uh, unreleased Pappy song, but you know you already dropped the mixtape and shit. Yeah. But yeah, I was there any more songs like that else? I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not really too sure, really. I have to see if my engineer got some more shit. He said he got all Pappy sessions saved up for me to come get when I go back to the studio and shit. I'm on house arrest, so I can't really do that right now. So you know, since you start rapping and shit, I seen you've been dropping mixtapes and you know. Putting your music on made up platforms and shit. Like, so since you have started doing that, has uh, income started coming in from the music? Yeah, that shit, you feel me? As long as you put your shit through streaming services and monetize all your content, you gonna see money. It ain't, ain't you no know, other way around it. You know, other motherfuckers just be depending on YouTube or SoundCloud to get their buzz out there, but it ain't never too early or too late to monetize your content because it's your work at the end of the day so there ain't no reason you shouldn't be getting paid off of it yeah i noticed though a lot of chicago artists they had a big fan base hell caught all that but they don't be on top of their business and i feel like that's why a lot of niggas don't make it fine and shit i'll be looking you got three million views and not one song like that so you know like, that's because a lot of people in chicago don't uplift each other and let them know like hey the next motherfucker and tell them like you know, you gotta do this, well, you feel me? You ain't never did this, and you feel me? That'll help you get to where you need to go, type shit, you know? Motherfuckers just look at you and be like, oh, he ain't do this to they self, you feel me? And then wait till you do it and be like, oh, he finally did it when you do it, type shit, you know? Yeah. I know a lot of people been waiting on me to ask this, and I don't really like asking this type of shit, because, like, my platform, I don't really be for the bullshit, but right. they was asking about, you know, the uh, Rico Records situation in Atlanta, like, what the fuck happened? How y'all run into the nigga in a whole nother state? Like, what's the chances of that? Yeah, I don't even know who that is. Hold on, I'm finna smack the shit out, dude. That. <laughs> now, trying to motherfucking help a nigga do his thing. And the money, we go right up on the south side. Like I said, I started off from being good. It's all love. The same time, nigga said, fuck me. I'm, that's how I be. It was love, though, but, you know, like I said, it's. it's so did he or did he not say fuck little bro? Yeah. Did you say it? No. I said fuck bro, but it's bro, it's so I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, put it out. Niggas say fuck Pappy, what? Fuck you talking about fuck Rico Reckless, bitch, you know how we rockin' PBT, bitch, Pappy gang, RP the gang, niggas know how we rockin' in the A, then the TAC3 up, A3C, whatever the fuck that shit called, bitch. We out here, period. <laughs> I was like, to be honest, I even forget his ass existed as a whole person out here, like, on some 100 shit, I don't forget all about his ass, bro. Uh. <laughs> uh, so since then, that's, that was just the end of that shit? You feel me? Yeah, I had, after that shit, I had uh, talked to him in the DM a little bit, but after, that's really it. Uh, so how was he coming? Was he trying to, you know, be cool or he, you know? I don't know. He, you feel me? He really uh, deleted that shit out the inbox. Deleted right. that shit. I thought I was messaging, so I don't even know what the fuck he was saying anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, so what happened with that song with you and Bump, you know? I, uh, shoot the video soon. I dropped it on my mixtape right here. Women featuring Bump J. Yeah, man, my boy came to the studio, showed out with me. Had me and that bitch shook. <laughs> Real life star to that bitch. He freestyled that shit in like 40 seconds. Like, man, G. <laughs> the nigga took a shot, took a sip of the champagne, went cool. I don't know. I mean, that bitch done the, to the faint, like, damn, it's too much heat in this bitch. You going cool, like, one take, all that. Oh, bro, I'm damn, and it was just quick as hell. You feel me? And he pop up, you feel me, flee, four and all that, and bro. <laughs> My boy bumped the motherfucker. So how'd that come about? Because, you know, there's a lot of people that, that look up to him, like, that really wish they could get a song with him, you know? 
you young, you a young nigga, you, yeah. you know, you ain't been around his era type shit, and you come right in this shit, get, he come home, you get a song, so how that happen? Shit, that's really, my manager, one of his boys, you feel me, one of his homies and shit, you feel me, then I had, when he got out, you feel me, I linked up with him, with my manager and shit, sick him and shit, and he had told me, when he was in the feds, he heard about packing and shit, you feel me, and then he was going crazy, and then he had heard some of my shit too, you feel me, so, after that, he just, was fuck with me and I was like, yeah, we gotta do something. And he was with it. So since you dropped the song, y'all been uh, still chopping it up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has to be everywhere though, you know. Yeah. yeah. You do all that time and you finally <laughs> get free, you hear me? You live it up. <laughs> you finna live it the fuck up, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I had seen a post. Uh, what people saying, you know, Pappy and Munchie was close friends at a point in time. Is there some truth to that? Alright, so look, the reason I started this YouTube channel was to reach out to big artists in my area that got somewhat of a name, a following, a fan base. You know, just people paying attention to them. That way I could build up my platform and I could reach out to smaller artists who I feel like got potential, you know, could make it somewhere if they just have the right people looking at them or the right person helping them, somebody paying attention to them. Because there's a lot of artists that got talent, but nobody paying attention, so the talent go unnoticed. So what I'm doing basically is looking out for them, giving back. Just the same way these artists looking out for me, because I started just without no name, didn't nobody know who I was. They just agreed to do this off the strength, you know, for free, not charging me nothing. So. But the artist that's looking out for me, I feel like it's only right that I give back to the other people. Because I used to rap, I used to be a rap artist, and I had talent, but what am I paying attention? So, I'm trying to create a platform to put everybody on who I feel like deserves that shot. So, if you want to support the movement, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it by either pointing me in the direction of somebody that you feel like got potential and should be on this platform, send a donation, purchase some clothes, like, subscribe, and share my videos, putting somebody else onto the videos, it's the simple things. All the comments, I read all that. So, whatever you, however you choose to support, it's all appreciated. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to follow me on my social media, it's 16 Shot on Visuals on Instagram. Email booking Raheem16 at gmail.com. That's the best way to get up with me.